Hey guys, Doc. It's okay, so I don't know what day of the beach house renovation this is, but if you didn't see the last uh, video, we finished remodeling the kitchen, painted the cabinets, new appliances, did a whole bunch of work, new lighting fixtures, all kinds of stuff. Today, we're gonna start focusing, today we, I, have to start focusing on the upstairs floors, and um, that's what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna show you. We also are gonna use this nail gun, not just on these floors, but all the trim. I have to come back in and put all the baseboards all the way around in this entire house. So that's why I went ahead and bought this thing. Uh, it wasn't just for this one project. We're going to be using it quite a bit. So here it goes. Hey guys, Doc. So I need a solution for upstairs. I've got these two rooms upstairs that are 12 by 12 rooms. We don't get a lot of use and they've got old kind of nasty carpet up there. And we want to put some kind of wood floor up there, but we don't want to spend a bunch of money. And I don't want to put like a pergo. I actually want to do a real kind of wood. So let me walk you up there and then I'll show you this nail gun. So you understand what project is coming up. This is actually a big room. This is actually a 12 by 12 room. And then upstairs we have the widow's watch, which is another 12 by 12 room, which has pink, ugly stained carpet up there. So, <laughs> Uh, we have painted the walls. This was dark green. Why they like dark green, I don't know. We've painted it gray, and we're going to be pulling out this carpet. I keep saying we, this will probably be me. I'm going to pull out this carpet, and I'm, but I want to install some kind of just natural wood. So, I kind of want a natural look here. So, I've ordered... From Home Depot, it's called white wood. It's a tongue and groove, fir, pine kind of wood. It's gonna have a lot of knots in it. It's gonna look kind of cool. And I'm doing a dark stain, almost a, it's brown black to go with this gray. We don't want any yellows. But uh, I had to have a nail gun. So let me show you my new toy real quick. It's made by DeWalt and this is the, um, 20 volt XR brushless brad nailer, 18 gauge brad nailer. It comes with a carry bag, it comes with a charger, and it comes with a two amp hour battery. I also ordered a five amp hour battery for this thing, but it runs a long time. Because it's brushless, it actually has a really long battery life. I'll go over this real quickly with you, but basically, let me make sure, I guess we'll take the battery out for safety. Basically, it uses 18 gauge brad nailers. Now, the nice thing is, is this little box has 5,000 brads in it. All of this was ordered off Amazon. In the description below, I'm gonna to link to all of this stuff, including the five amp hour battery I ordered for it, uh, the nails, everything. The way that 18 gauge, you can use any 18 gauge. I, of course, recommend DeWalt, but you'll have 18 nails per inch on here. So 18 times six inches, that's basically what you're gonna get. You just drop your you just drop your brads in here. You can use one inch up to two. I think you can go to two and an eighth or two and a quarter. I can't remember. But I know you can go to two inch. That's what I'm using. Lock it up, it's all set. Has a real nice fine tip nose on it, which is really nice for a line of sight to be able to let, uh, line it up. Um, has two LED lights on it. So those lights will light up actually the area that you're working. It has a lock and unlock switch right here. It has a sequential nailer or a single nailer. So if you want to just pull the trigger and fire once, you can do that. Flip it over and you can just go pap, 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 pap all the way along. So you can choose and that's a little switch right here that does that. The depth of the nail. So depending on how deep you want your nail to go, there's a little roller right here and you roll it and that'll adjust how deep. If you want to countersink your nail, you can countersink it. And I've played with it here already and it does a really good job. The first nail I drove in, the head was sticking out about an eighth of an inch. I just rolled this forward and it drove it dead flat without making any marring on the surface. Um, if you ever have, let me take the battery out again. If you ever get a jam on here, it has a, a, a little push right here for clearing. You can clear that channel. Also, 
take the nails out. If you do have another jam in here, you can also just pop this top off just like this and you can clear it out as well too. Easy access for all of that. But again, it's simple. Just drop your brads in, put your battery on, take it off lock, and you're ready to fire. So I'm going to put it on individual at first. Now what I've done is we're going to be using, this is one inch woods, which means it's probably about three quarters. And without destroying my wife's new coffee table, you basically just put it on here and you'll hear it run. So that lets me fire one. Now if I want to do it repetitive, I just do it repetitive. Then I can go along and shoot repetitive. This is a cool gun. This is a really cool gun. I really like this thing. Again, the first time I shot it, let me show it to you. So the first time I shot this nail, you can see the nail head sticking out about an eighth of an inch. So I just roll that forward and it's countersinking perfect without marring up this wood. You can see this is a two inch brad and this is extremely hard old some kind of cedar and this is um, obviously a fir or a pine strip here and let me tell you what um i will no longer be able to get these boards apart <laughs> it holds incredibly well now what i'm going to do is we're going to put down like i said we're going to put down a board that looks similar to this and this is kind of the stain we're going to put down um, I'm actually going to use I'm actually going to use a deck and fence stain and why is that it's because I really don't want to shine to those floors up there and I want them to be able to breathe there's a lot of um, humidity up there and there's a lot of heat so I want the boards to be able to breathe but if we ever do get any water or any drippings because there's one roof up there that has the nails you can see directly from the roof I want it to be protected but I still want it to be able to breathe up there, expand and contract if needed. So that's why I'm using that outdoor stain. Um, I had it custom made, it mixed at Home Depot. It's called, I forget the name of it, it's Coronian Brown or something like that, but it's really like a black brown, it's pretty cool. So that's what's coming up next. Uh, my next project, I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna tear out this carpet and I've got to pull out all those staples out of the foam. I've got to take out the edge strips and prepare it. Home Depot is going to be delivering for both of those rooms, a 12 by 12 room to do ordered all the boards plus extra. You're probably looking at about 650 bucks. That's pretty cheap for those two rooms. So 300 bucks for a solid wood floors. Um, but I wanted to show you this new little nail uh, nailer before I get going on the project. And then tomorrow, I'll put up a video about doing these floors and we'll see how they come out because I really don't know. So stay tuned. Yeah.